just do while you're just watching oh, you're, Julie. You're, okay, you're doing it. I'm just gonna watch you. On. My name's Joanne Sherard, and I'm a co-founder of Arm Skincare. And how I got to that is a bit of a circuitous route. So growing up in Newfoundland, um, I remember always thinking, even when I was young, that I would never live somewhere smaller, more remote than, uh, than Newfoundland, than the island itself. And fast forward to present time, and I'm in a subarctic community in Dawson City, population of 2,000, much smaller than what I'm used to or what I was used to, and I'm absolutely loving it. Elise and I met when we first got here a couple years after we moved here, and we both had kids around the same age. And when we started talking more, there was this instant connection, this simpatico, just a knowing that kind of went between us and we started talking about our own skin issues too. So I've always had eczema and I found being here in the north it's quite dry and my eczema got a lot worse. Annalise was kind of saying the same thing for her rosacea. She was getting these flare-ups. I mean I guess the adage mother is the necessity of invention kind of I guess it was just our own desire to do something similar to a lot of the other people in Dawson, which is innovate. When you don't find something that works or you can't find something that you need, you find a way to get it. I grew up outside of Toronto and you kind of get used to in an environment like that where everything just kind of comes to you. It's always on demand. And one of the hard things about living in Dawson, but also one of the, the beautiful things about living in Dawson is that that's not an option. Joanne and I spent many weeks, many years, <laughs> trying to figure out what it is that our skin needed and how we could solve our own problem. When we're harvesting birch water, it's usually a nightly event that the family piles into the car um, and we go out and we all have our own little separate things that we do in the birch stand. Our business depends on Mother Nature. It depends on nature telling us when to start, not us telling nature when to start. It's very much that synchronicity of you tap a tester tree, you see when the birch water flows, and then you're on. And then you're on for two or three weeks of the year. Every day you're going out to the birch stand, collecting the birch water, and hopefully getting enough to supply us with the birch water we need to make our serum. I'm foraging more than I ever have. Newfoundland was certainly a place that started me off, but coming here and learning from people from here of all the amazing things you can forage, it's, it's just been an exciting time for me. We got to work in finding out how to best harvest the birch water. It's minimal footprint that it takes. We drill a small hole, the tree heals itself, and then an abundance of birch water comes out of each tree. For Elise and I, that community connection and that connection to our product, knowing from the very beginning, from tapping that first tester tree to Elise's amazing capacity to formulate and formulate for effectiveness, to relieve those itchy, irritating skin feels, that was really our priority and we found our niches. She is, a, at heart, this inquisitive scientist, and at heart, I just want to be foraging. Both Joanne and I have a background in academics, and it's kind of something we gravitate towards, so the kind of ethnopharmacology piece, um, looking into natural compounds and what they might be used for was really something that we enjoyed studying at the beginning of our business and we still do. We don't really look at the ingredients we're sourcing from a marketing perspective per se. We really want to understand what their chemical makeup is and how it interacts with the skin barrier. So that was something that we spent a lot of time researching. But <laughs> one of my um, favorite memories of building this business is seeing my sons respond to what it is that I've chosen to do and so they're they're really interested in this idea that I could go from 
having a job working for the government to having a job in a lab that I built um, making skincare. And so my youngest every once in a while would come up to me and say, when are you going to be a scientist, mommy? And I would look and we'd be in the lab and I'd say, I am a scientist, Nicholas. Like, we're doing it. This is science. You know, it's not some distant activity that happens in places unknown. It, you know, it's, it's applied and, and it's something that we can integrate into our lives. I mean, first of all, we're in a rural community and building what we hope is a nationally recognized skincare brand is a challenge unto itself. Um, not being in a bigger center, it is harder to get known and recognized. We're an oddity in the skincare business, so there's so many people that will outsource their R&D. We do it in-house. Uh, manufacturing, co-packing, oh, there's so many ways that you can be hands-off. And the fact that we're so hands-on, I think is a little bit unique for skincare. And I love to see and to know that's something that we've created here in Dawson, from our birch stand, from Elisa's formulations, have worked for people. Having that consumer brand within a rural community is something that has been achievable as we've started e-commerce. So that was kind of, in a funny way, a way that we were able to make it work. And now we're doing Orem skincare as full-time as can be and working really hard to get a second product out. One of the biggest successes for us is to show that you know, Dawson might be rural, it might be isolated, but it doesn't have to be a place where people can't build vibrant professional lives. That, I think, is the biggest success for us. I think it's important for Elise and I to hopefully be able to help the next generation of women in science and technology in formulating to grow and realize that it doesn't matter where you're from, you can start a business, you can create an opportunity and allow yourself to explore realms that might not have been possible or you didn't think were possible just by having an idea and allowing yourself to have the confidence to let it grow.